up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Nanamaru Senbatsu Season 1, Episode 8. And for those that don't know how I do these live reactions, I have to watch the first couple seconds of the episode to find the chapter we're adapting, but I'm really disappointed that we didn't get the end of chapter 17. It starts off in chapter 18. Hopefully, um, when we get to um, the quiz competition, we'll get a flashback to chapter the end of chapter 17. That would make the most sense for me. Anyway, so we are adapted again. As I said, we are. This episode starts off with adapting chapter 18 of the manga, and we already have a line skipped, which is um, from. Uh, Shiki's mom, what are you doing so early in the morning? It's 7 a.m. That was skipped. And this was skipped too. Can I uh, go watch? Um, uh, but I don't, uh, I, yeah, but I don't uh, think that you can watch. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, I'll just buy something. That's not it. Just um, wait, okay? It'll, um, I'll make it in a second. A sec. That was Okay, I totally feel Koshiyama when he's when, with this quote right here. I have to read it because it's the inner the inner monologue. Um, I ch I, I know it, I'm reading the manga version, so just deal with it. My childhood memories of having dad read books aloud for me seem so far away to me. Reading is something that one enjoys alone. Yes, thank you. And I I relate to this in a way because the reason why I got into books in the first place is um for those of you that don't know i've mentioned it before on my channel is that um, my dad read um to me when i was younger and what we would do is we would um we would take turns reading chapters and of course my uh, the very first book i fell in love with um it was of course harry potter yeah so my dad and i would take turns with reading and i agree that reading is something that one enjoys alone because if someone like bugs you <laughs> while you're reading it drives me nuts and i can like for those that, that don't know i can actually walk and read at the same time and still know where i'm going it's freaking crazy that i could do this but yes i could do this um oh yeah the other part of uh hold on let me just make sure i'm not missing anything else from the quote uh no okay yeah i just wanted to mention that because i totally relate to this oh something uh the anime says that's a little bit different but i can really appreciate it for me, reading was a way for me to have fun in my own little world. Yes! It is! And it still is for me to this day. Hell, that, you know, I gotta mention this, even though I don't get a lot of views on my book videos, but if it wasn't for books, this channel wouldn't exist. <laughs> Specifically, one book that pissed me off, which I still haven't done a um, discussion on, but I'll get to it eventually. I, have a, I just I need to catch up on a lot of the books that, um, that came out recently. Oh my god! We're doing the quiz competition today! Oh my god! I am so excited! I have been waiting! You guys have no idea! I have been waiting for this! I hope that if they- I swear to god, anime, if you fuck up this competition, I'm gonna be mad! I'm gonna be really mad, because this arc of the manga is so good! Oh, and I gotta mention this too. I am addicted to the opening song! I'm catching myself hopping it all the time. It's driving me nuts. I love this song so much. I'm so excited for this episode right now. <laughs> um, but uh, this episode title is called Greetings of Asagoka Regular Meat. Oh my god, this is going to be so good! Okay, I gotta complain about the stained glass, uh, glass, stained glass window. Okay, the stained glass window is supposed to have the Virgin Mary in there, and it is not! And I have to wonder if this is censorship! <laughs> I have to wonder if it's censorship or laziness! Let, let me know in the comments what you think, if that was censorship or laziness on uh, the anime's part, because it's supposed to be the Virgin Mary. And I guess they're worried about atheists, but they still have the cross, so I have no idea. Um, this part was skipped. Um, we don't have a club advisor because we're not grade schoolers. Your hair is falling off, Ashia. Shut up! And I love that my boy Makuria has listened to questions. Makuria is such a nerd. I love him. I love Makuria. He is my favorite character. For those that don't know, um, Jisada Makuria is my favorite character in this anime slash manga. I, I love him. 
I want to make him my mom commands, but he's too young for that. I need to wait for him to be a little bit more grown before I can do that. So this part is skipped, which is uh, lots of uh, smart guys are here, President. Kaijo still isn't here yet, huh? We're about to start. And then we see the March of the Kaijo students. The Kaijo, oh my God. Oh my God. I can't wait to see, oh my God. There is gonna be a good backstory from Sasajima this arc. And I can't, because uh, he, spoiler alert, went to Kojima um, before, uh, hold on. Let me make sure I said it right, because I probably screwed it up. I think it was Koyama, but fuck. I gotta double check, or it will annoy me. Um, and then I'll have people in the comment section getting mad at me. Um, Kaijo! I don't know why I said Kojima. I meant... <laughs> I mean, it's because I'm thinking of Sasajima. Um, Sasajima, spoiler, went to uh, Kaijo. So... It's gonna be so good! Oh my god! Like, it gets a little awkward, but... Oh my god, this, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good shit. Okay, this part was skipped here, too. Um, this is the reception table. It's my pleasure uh, to compete here today. Ah, you're welcome. And then... Oh, Akura. Oh my god, Okura! He is so badass at quizzes. Oh my god. Like, when he and Sasajima um, are battling, it is going to be so epic in anime form. I can't wait to see it. This is gonna be popped. I really want to see... I want to see it this episode. I swear, if you tease me, Nanamara Sabato, I'm gonna be mad at you. Um, I don't know why this wasn't mentioned, but it's really interesting about uh, Sijiwada. Or Seki uh, Gawada. Um, Seki Gawada and Kaijo are both a middle school and a high school. Then there are middle schools too. Then this was skipped as well. Then there are middle schoolers too? Everyone looks so strong. Yeah, there's middle schoolers here. Uh, okay. Let's get to this next part here. Uh, this part was skipped. They're all strong. Will I even get to compete with Makuria? Um, this part was skipped. What a, um, uh, Asagoka-esque performance. Wow, the next school will have a hard time beating us. Uh, we lost. Whatever, let's just get this started. <laughs> I love Makaria! <laughs> Why are you not having more Makaria in this anime? He is amazing! He's the best character! Fuck! Um, this part was skipped, too. This is going to be a long day. If we lose, then we can, um, leave right away. <laughs> Why would you want to leave right away? You said you wanted women. Like, didn't make sense. Um, hold on, let me make sure nothing else is skipped. Okay, so here we here we go. Now we're into the uh, writing portion of uh, the anime, and I'm really interested to see how they um, show the questions. Because that's what the one thing Nanamaru Senbatsu does really well with its adaptation is ex explanations of the rules. So I'm very curious, uh, and also the questions and answers, which I really love how they do. Okay, so we're not getting the explanation of how this works. Like, what? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'll wait another couple minutes. If this is completely skipped, I'm gonna be super pissed. Cause how are you guys, as the viewers, supposed to know? Wow! Wow! They're really skipping this. I am so. Uh, oh my god! I, I'm gonna read the dialogue first. Ah, there's a multiple answer quiz in round three. Oh, the kind we played in the arcade, right? Um. Save the strategizing for later. Round one is starting. You remember the paper quiz strategies, right? Yes. Oh my god. I'm not going to explain the full thing um, for the rules. If you're curious where it is, it's um, chapter 18, page uh, 19 of the manga. So for basically the first round, you have in the beginning was the word, which is basically a paper quiz with 50 questions plus one estimation question, which we saw them practice in a previous episode. Round two, and um, all is going to be narrowed down to 10. And then round two is Love Thy Neighbor, which it goes all to 10, 
uh, and then go down to eight. And basically what that is, is the uh, 502X buzzing quiz. Um, and round three, all who draw the sword will die by the sword. 18, nine times two, it's gonna go down to six, which is the multiple answer plus um, buzzing board quiz. I don't wanna explain the full thing because it will just take, I don't want this video to be longer than it already is. But yeah, I I, I don't understand if it, um, and, oh, and there's one other thing, uh, a couple other things. There's loser revival, enter through the narrow gate, all losers narrowed down to one. Um, and then you have the semifinals, which is the touch me not, which is going from seven to three, and that's the lockout buzzing quiz. And then the finals, the last judgment, is gonna be the final three to one, and it's a buzzing quiz brawl, and it's a 1002X. Oh my god. But yes, and whoever wins the final round will be the king of this match, or of this competition, or king of quizzes. This part was skipped too in the inner monologue. Uh, just write as quickly and legibly as you can. If you don't know how to write the kanji, then just spell it out unless it says otherwise. Even if you have no clue, then write anything that comes to mind. Don't leave it blank. And then we got, I, I gotta double check and see if this estimation question is in here. If it's not, I'm gonna be mad. So the estimation question was skipped, which was um, estimation question in square meters. What is the total area of the campus grounds of um, Asagoka Girls High? Round to the nearest one hundredth or nearest hundredth. And I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I know what this anime wants to do. It wants to get to the really good, st really good content, like the Sasajima backstory, which you better not fuck up like you did last time. That really was Seiji's. That really ticked me off. You have no idea how much that ticked me off last week. Oh, and then this part was skipped. Um, total area? How would we know? <laughs> there was a map, but did it have the area at all? Um, let's see. A, chap a chapel that can hold 100, and 100 to 150 people is about 120 to 152 meters square, right? Then I have to guess the ratio of the chapel to the whole campus based on the map. I heard that when uh, you're lost on the estimation question, you should err um, on the sm uh, on the smaller side. Um, but that doesn't guarantee whether it's closer to the answer or not. When in doubt, Smith. When in doubt, <laughs> Sakai. When in doubt, we're at high school. I love their strategy. This is so fucking funny. But you skipped it, anime. Just why? Um, let's see if there's anything else. Okay. And we had the one minute and the 30 seconds part, that, uh, but I don't mind that being skipped. Um, and then the final countdown. And then here we go. Oh, this, uh, let me just make sure this part is there after we will take a break. Hold on a second. Yep, this part is skipped. I couldn't get the estimation question. Ema, it's just a tiebreaker even if you spend all day on it. There were some really hard questions, but it looks like they held back for the sake of the newcomers. Really? It was a nice balance of classic sticky questions and current affairs questions. To me, every question that I didn't get was hard. Ah, uh, what did we come here for? To study during the intermissions. We, um, let's see. Here we go. Um, I think this part was skipped, oh, but let me just double check. Part was skipped. During the breaks, uh, you may not enter other buildings, and you may enter and exit into the courtyard as you please. Um, here we go. We're on the next page here. Just hold on a second. Guys, we're getting to we're getting to the tension. We're getting to the confrontation of Sasajima and Okura. Oh my god! But first, this part was skipped. Um, if I want to be uh, seated for into round three for the multiple answer quiz and the buzzing cord, um, or yeah, it says if I can't, sorry. Um, I, if I want to be seated into round three for the multiple answer quiz in the buzzing board, but if I go have to go to round two, then to be honest, I have no confidence in um, buzzing in. Koshiyama, eat something. You won't last. Yes, sir. Okay, so now um, uh, this confrontation um, is at uh, the end of chapter 18. What did I think about Chapter 18's adaptation? I'm really disappointed um, because I would have loved to have the explanation of each of the rounds. 
uh, that would have been really nice to have because especially uh, and I'm hoping what's gonna happen and then I won't be as mad is that um, for before each round we'll get an explanation of the rules and stuff but I would have really liked to have, have had the program but I wish there would have been a little bit more action from interaction from the side characters as well which really there wasn't but anyway let's get to chapter 19's adaptation and see this confrontation between my boy Sasajima and Okura before I forget before the, the conflict we saw Sonohara's brother and he is so adorable even though he's a little shit he is adorable like I just want to hug him and squeeze him he's so cute in and out of drag, he is cute. So this part was skipped. Uh, President Sanahara, the answer for number 38 is Uda Cologne, but what if they write Cologne? Um, the question asked for water of Cologne, so it's wrong. Um, that was skipped. Let's see. Um, here we go, this part was skipped. They won't be able to deal with the rules of those rounds like they, um, they, like they normally do. And, um... Here we go. This part was skipped too. Sort them by ranking. Here's 11th and below. It's noon. Go announce the answers. Okay. Oh my god. Why did you give Geiko... <laughs> Why did you do this? He was supposed to t say this to Koshiyama. Like, what the fuck? I don't get it. Um. Then... Um, oh, here it is. I uh, never heard of it. Koshiyama, do you, uh, do you know all of your answers? Yeah, I copied them. I don't get it. Net sling is hard, right? The question was, the inter in the internet language, LOL means laugh out loud, but what does uh, IKR mean? I know, right? <laughs> I'm real, uh, really bad at this after all, I think is where we left off, and that's page six of the manga. Um, I don't like that Ima is not getting a say right now. He's supposed to be here. And I'm with Koshiyama. I binge read the hell out of books and I binge read the hell out of manga. <laughs> he doesn't binge read the hell out of manga, but I do. Yeah, my boy Sasujima got the highest score on the written test. Suck it, Okura. Okay, so we did get the explanation about, you know, about the 48 participants, uh, so, and uh, the top 10 is going to move on to round 3, the others are going to move to round 2. This part was skipped, dialogue-wise. I think I got 30 points, not enough. Um, this is bad. 23 under half, 16, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a chance to go to um, the uh, top of round 2. You didn't make it, huh? If you go from the paper, paper quiz 11th or under to round 2 to round 3, lose to the loser redemption around to round 4 to round 5, we get to enjoy the whole thing. You you aren't wrong, but uh, this was all skipped. And, okay, I gotta apologize that this video is going to be a lot longer, but I love Nanamaru Sumatsu and see some, some of this stuff that they're skipping is just frustrating the hell out of me. And plus... I love the chapters that we're covering. I've, I've been wait. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this since, like, uh, the beginning of the anime. So, uh, let me enjoy. <laughs> this part is skipped, too. But, yes, Sa Sasajima is a legend. 47 points. He may be going to Buzu now, but he's the real thing. He, um, uh, this part, for the most part, was there. He's really Sasajima of Kaijo. So, he's Sasajima. Oh, he hasn't shown up to comp any competitions for the last six months, and now? I've never heard of Buzo before. This was uh, definitely skipped. So let's see. Sasajima, you little shit! He looked up, <laughs> he looked up for <laughs> the area of the skull! That was fucking awesome! Sasajima is just so freaking cool. But I love the explanation from Akura that we get to see of the whole campus and how he tried to do his calculation. Kakaguri, I don't understand why you can't do this, but whatever. Shia is someone to watch. You wouldn't think of Shia as good, but Shia is the club president for a reason. Um, but this part was skipped. President Shia is pretty good, but there was a big difference between him in first and second place. 
Those two are monsters. Yes, they are. Okura and Sasajima Senpai, they are fucking monsters. Yay, Makuya made it to the third round. Yay, he barely made it, but he made it. And yes, Makuria has a woman's first name. Just deal with it. Oh my god, this part of the competition is fucking insane! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am so excited that we get to see this part of the competition! Just don't fucking ruin anime! Don't! We get to see Sanahara's shenanigans, and I'm so excited! I love- again, Sanahara may be a little shit, but he is a- <laughs> he is such an adorable little shit! And yes, it's a random pair buzzing quiz. And again, the explanations! I don't think even the explanations were in the manga. Hold on. No, it wasn't! The, this awesome explanation that they're doing wasn't even in the manga. And it's awesome. Um, that's what it is. Pair? A double games, in other words, uh, was skipped. But I'm so happy! Like, I don't understand why Kakaguri can't do this! We're not gonna see the practice match? That is... Oh, yeah, I understand. I kind of understand why. Because they want to get to the good stuff. They want to get to the Sanahara, um, uh, Koshiyama partnership stuff. I totally understand that. It makes a lot of sense, but doesn't mean I have to like it. The peanut... I'm just going to say this because this video is just getting way too long. The peanut gallery's comments are basically skipped. But there's one in particular that I really like when, um... When they, when the guy says women can be so nasty, I fucking love that. That it was funny. Um, oh, this part of the dialogue was skipped from Sasajima. You can feel Asagoka's passion and desire for an exciting um, quiz bowl for the schedule and the performances. Here we go. Now we're getting on to the good stuff. We're getting the pairs. Uh, this part was skipped. Uh, do your best, President Nina. Uh, President Nina. Plus, uh, players from Kaijo and uh, Siki Gawada will be likely to pair up with someone from that same school. Don't know if that's good or bad. Um. Oh my god, there he is! Oh, we're not gonna see Sanahara play his little PSP! It was so... it was cute! We're like, ah! not, I guess we're not gonna see Sanahara until he's partnered with Koshiyama. Wow, the questions actually match the manga this time! Thank God! I was getting sick of that! So, this comment from Sasajima is skipped, which is a pair can get three points if they answer together. It's possible that they can just end it now, but the other others can also turn the table um, on them uh, was skipped. What? What? You changed the question? Oh my God! Why? Oh my God! They made it about Mesopotamia when... In the, in the manga, it's about Shogi. Like, why? <laughs> why did you do this? Did you think, like, the, the American audience that is going to be watching this, the Western audience, is just not going to understand Shogi? You have a Shogi! There's a Shogi anime for crying out loud! Which I'm going to start covering next season, which is March Comes Like a Lion, which is really, really good. If there's anime slash manga about Shogi, I don't understand why you're using the Shogi... Skipping the Shogi question. I'm sorry, I should say, change the Shogi question. So for the most part, I really enjoyed Chapter 19, especially the actual quiz part. Except for the last question being changed. I was just like... You were so close! You were so close! But, um... There was, like, the only thing that bothers me, and this has just been something that's been happening in a lot of anime lately, um, with, minus, like, My Hero Academia, is that the side characters, slash the peanut gallery in this case, um, their little comments aren't coming in. And I don't understand why, because you showed, like, while that you could just, like, have it going at the same time. That would have been fine if you would have just sped it up. That would have been fine. Like, with the, you know, and still have the comments. But, whatever. I know what the anime is trying to do. It's try, But I got a feeling we're not gonna, we're gonna barely get the Sonohara stuff this episode. Uh, because right now we're at the, uh, 16 minute mark. So... I don't understand why the peanut gallery shit wasn't here. 
But I understand why the full schedule wasn't in there because the rules are going to get explained anyway, so I don't mind that. And the other thing I really liked about this chapter's adaptation is I loved how they explained the quiz for round two. I loved it. It was really, really good. So anyway, let's get to um, chapter 20's adaptation. I hope it's not going to get that far into chapter 20, at least I hope. So this part was skipped. There's a lot of dialogue skipped this episode. That was fast. Kazumi and Kawabata from uh, Leonil. Um, one in just four questions with five uh, points and no pen penalties, which is in group B. They showed wonderful um, co cooperation expected from a pair from the same school. Um, but the, those Kaijo guys lost so easily. Well, that Kaijo player also got the first turn on three questions in a row. The hard part ab about these rules is that um, that's not enough to win. Um, let's see. Um, no matter which turn you get, you can only score one point by yourself, but if you score with your partner, then you can get three points, which is huge. Knowledge and speed, um, isn't all that matters. The complex set of rules change many things. Fukam, um, uh, Fukami won by being the first to take advantage of the rules. For that, that, well, that was base. that was base. The uh, Leonil players cooperated to beat the smart but divided Kaijo players. Do we have what it takes to win? So now, um, but I understand why they skip Group B. If they say Imwa is in Group B, that is a fucking lie. He's not in Group uh, B, he's in Group C. But I do understand why they skipped Group B is because they want to push the plot further. Or, you know, get to the good stuff further. But at the same time, it's kind of annoying that they skipped it because, as I said, um, the Sasajima dialogue, the explanation for it, was really, really good. And I wish they would have had that in here. But, oh well. I wish they still had the comments for the peanut gallery because it was funny, this part, when uh, um, Maruyama was <laughs> paired with Iwa. Ha, his partner's from Buzo. Are they twits? <laughs> Um, that part was, uh, skipped, and that, that was just a funny little comment section, a comment from the peanut gallery. No! My, no! The, he was supposed to say, well, Iman was, uh, dialogue was right, but, um, oh my god, fucking turn the page on me. Uh, Mariyama was wrong! He was supposed to say, uh, sticky questions of random stuff, and he was supposed to say those aren't genres. Uh, but that's bullshit. And we didn't get the stuff with the otakus, but something I just realized, because I rewinded it a little bit, just to make sure, um, some of the explanation from Sasajima about the teamwork and stuff that I thought was skipped was there. So I just wanted to make that correction. Wait a minute! You're not gonna mention that it's Group C? Why? You mentioned it was Group A before when Group A was playing! Why didn't you mention it in Group C? God damn it, anime, just... Your logic makes no sense. Everyone got the confirmation point at around the same time was skipped. So they skipped a good chunk of the questions, but again, I understand why the anime is doing this because they want to get to the good stuff. They want to get to the, um, which is, I'm fucking pissed that I have to wait till next episode, but we're going to get the Sonohara uh, Koshiyama partnership next episode, which I am super hyped for. Oh my God, this next episode is going to be freaking lit. And I got a feeling, um, I'm trying to think if, I don't know if how they're going to do uh, the Sasajima stuff. I don't know if it's going to take more than one episode to do it. Like, I'm just really curious how they're going to do, uh, do this. Uh, oh, I know what they're going to do. So they're going to probably do uh, round three um, in episode 10, I want to say. And then round um, 11, that's when we're going to get the good stuff. I think episode 11 is when we're going to get the Sasajima backstory, but I'm just guessing. Again, more stuff is skipped from the peanut gallery, um, but this video is long enough as it is already. I don't, uh, so I'm not going to read it because it's just very simple stuff. Um, so the peanut gallery stuff got skipped, which, okay, I understand they want to speed this up a little bit, but poor Iwa. You have to feel so bad for it. Poor Iwa. So you're not going to announce that this is group D. I hope that I hope that they mention it next episode. But anyway, the explanation Sasajima gave uh, gave them 
Which he, in the manga, what he does is write it in a notebook, but I don't mind that he didn't have him write it in a notebook. The explanation was just so good, and I love the visuals for it. And again, I have to question Kakakuri. <laughs> they can't do visuals for shit. I just realized, like, wait a minute. I know it's the end of the episode, <laughs> I'm realizing this. Why the fuck is Jayco here? She's not even supposed to be here! But... Please, episode, at least show me some Sonohara! It's Sonohara! That evil look he has on his face! Oh my god! I love it! Um, but this part was skipped, uh, from the peanut gallery. Uh, Sonohara, aren't you gonna go? Um... Let's see. Ah, is it my turn? And he's playing his PSP. But Sonohara! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Next episode, we have to see the punishment because the punishment for uh, is just uh, it's just so great. Um, I'm, um, um, Konami, uh, Konami's uh, uh yeah, from Konami the. Fucking punishment from Konami. We need to see it next week. Please, please, out of our support, do this for me. I want to see it. Please, at least, like, before that, you guys do the quiz. I want to see it because it's so fucking funny. Um, hold on a second. Oh my god. So, where I like, I will give this episode credit, even then, though we didn't have the dialogue from the uh, peanut gallery about Sanahara. I, I just have to give it a pass because I loved the evil look in his eye that we got from him. In his eyes that we got from him. I fucking loved it. That was so good. And I love the narration, of course, that we had at the end, too. The inner monologue, which was really good as well. Next week, I am so fucking excited because we get to see Sanahara and Koshiyama tag team. Um, and, oh my god. I'm just hoping we get to- I, I just really want to see Katamari's, uh, punishment. Because it is so funny. I have to see it animated. Please do this for me. But overall, this episode, I know it felt somewhat rushed because they skipped a lot of content. But at the same time, I understand why. Because they're trying to get to the really, really good stuff in this arc. Um, but it doesn't mean I have to like that they skipped all the comments from the peanut gallery. And if they do not show, uh, Konami's punishment, I will be extremely mad next week. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you guys think of this episode? I'm sorry this video is so long, but I just had a lot to say on this episode. <laughs> this live reaction made me have to say a lot, because there's a lot of bullshit here. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Inc. If you love what I'm doing, want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Patreon, PayPal, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, follow my Twitch channel, which um, I'm planning to do some more stuff on. Uh, from me on PlayStation Network, all that in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!